43 seconds to go, Dave. Well, that play has inspired the crowd a bit here. They're on their feet for the fight song. There's the situation as we see it from the floor here. 70-69, the Hawkeyes with a one-point lead in the basketball. But they're going to get some pressure from Illinois right now. At one point, Illinois cut the lead to 65-63, but this is as close as they've been. 70-69, as close as they've been in the second half. My thing is, this is so reminiscent of the Marquette game that teasingly went away, and the Warriors won that ball game. So hopefully, it won't be an instant replay. Illinois is going to force a turnover here, or force Iowa to the line and get them to miss a free throw. Iowa 70, Illinois 69 with 43 seconds to go. This is just what my voice needed, Dan. <laughs> Good yelling, screaming finish, huh? Hawks down on the floor, here comes Illinois. Comes Lute Olsen halfway down the floor to give final instructions to the Hawkeyes. Brookins is back in for Iowa. Smith in there for the Illini. Range, Bresnahan, Judson, and Johnson. Rock and the Illini repeat the performance of a few seconds ago. Gannon, inbounds, Arnold. Oh, Bresnahan shot right by him, and Kenny got it over the line. Boyle, 35 seconds to go. Boyle with the ball. Arnold to Boyle. And I may have to foul here, and they do. Range fouls Kevin Boyle. 30 seconds to go. There wasn't much choice. Perry Range trying to dig it away. Probably got a hand on the ball, but Kevin Boyle's going to get free throws. One and one, no two-shot foul. They didn't rule intentional, so that's a break for Illinois. Well, Boyle, a good foul shooter. He's three out of three at the line tonight. He has 19 points. 20 and 21, it'd be awful big ones if he can get these free throws in. 30 seconds to go as Boyle with a one and one. Here it goes. Good. Kevin Boyle that makes it 71 69. Now the bonus. It's up. It's good. 72 to 69. Iowa by three. The clock ticks down. 25 seconds to go. Rob Jensen to Jensen. Fires long. Hit him. What a shot. And glad I want another timeout. 72 71. What a shot. Eddie Johnson has been fantastic in the second half. 20 seconds to go now. The clock ticked off 10 seconds as Boyle hit two free throws. Kalada came down and Johnson hit one. <laughs> From downtown Urbana. Tell you what, if he had a Chicago Bulls uniform on, that was three points. <laughs> well, we could use the three points. That was about 35 feet. Eddie's got 10 baskets in the second half. He's got 22 for the night after only two points in the first uh, 20 minutes of this ball game. It's defense time again for Illinois. They almost dug it away from Arnold last time. Let's see what they can do this time. This is the third time the Illini and Iowa have been in a situation. Illinois stole the ball the first time with range going down. The second time, Iowa got it down. Illinois fouled. And Boyle, hit, Boyle hit the free throws. So well, it comes down to about 10 seconds to work with here, Dave. If, if Iowa gets the ball over the line, Illinois is going to have to foul him by about the 10-second mark and send somebody to the free throw line. Hope they miss. Otherwise, they won't have much time to get a decent shot off. If they can get the ball back with 10 seconds and be one or two points down, they're going to have a pretty good shot. Gary Colker was up for the line. Let's see if he's going to... Be coming in and see if Lou is going to change lineup on it. He'll go with quickness, I'm sure, and that Perry Range will definitely be in. Come on, Kevin, of course, there yeah, comes no, Derek sitting down. It'll be the same lineup. Yeah, Holcomb's not in. And here we go again. 20 seconds to go. Iowa 70, Illinois seven, uh, 72, Illinois 71. Inbound. The pass is it, lost the ball, Arnold picks it up. And taken away by Smith. And again, it gets away. And Perry Range picks up the foul. Oh, that ball is like a hot potato. That was the craziest five seconds you'll ever see. Here All it is. Kinds of chances. Perry Range with a tackle. First down, Iowa. That ball was like it was grease. No one could pick. 
They lost five seconds off the clock, 15 seconds to go as Krasnison goes to the free throw line. What a wild scramble that one was. And the Illini looked like they could just pick the ball up and go down and lay it in. Krasnison's four of six from the line tonight. Four out of six. And he's shooting the biggest ones of the Big Ten season. Of course, this being the first game, he's made aside the basketball game right here. There he goes. First of a one and one. No good. Here come the Illini. Cut it down. Ten seconds. Range with the ball. Smith goes around, puts it up, blocked. Illinois ball with six seconds to go. What a play by Steve Krasnison. and what a block from behind. I can't believe he didn't get contact. Get another look at Mark Smith in the lane. Now you just missed that. There goes the ball out of bounds. Iowa wants a timeout with six seconds to go. It's Illinois ball. Illinois will have a chance to set up a play. Well, we played 39 minutes and 54 seconds, and we're coming down to the last six. And that's where it's going to be decided. The last Illinois lead <laughs> was four to two. <laughs> the game has been tied up since that time. But the Illini have not been ahead in this half and only led briefly in the first half. It's been catch up all the way. As I mentioned, it looked like they could play two weeks without the Illini cutting into that five, six, and seven point lead that Iowa had. But it's down to one point, and Illinois has the ball with six seconds to go. A game that played kind of slow for about the first three quarters, but it's certainly picked up here in the last two minutes. Couldn't ask for anything more from the Big, uh, Big Ten Conference opener than we've had from Iowa and Illinois tonight. And it's not over yet. Well, who's going to shoot the last shot? Eddie Johnson has the hot yeah. hand, but to be a question of getting him loose. Six seconds is plenty of time. They have a little bit of time to pick and choose. Not too much, but enough so they should be able to uh, spring somebody open. Of course, Iowa's played super defense all night. Illinois has had to work hard to get anything on the board. It'll come down. To perhaps well, one shot and a rebound, or maybe just one shot. It depends on how much Illinois is going to take off the clock, and Iowa wants another timeout. Six seconds to go. Now the Illini lineup will be Bresnahan, Range, Smith, Johnson, and we presume Judson will they break. They get Judson in there just in case something doesn't develop inside. They can kick it back to him and. Of course, he's a good outside shooter. He's won a couple of games in his career here at Illinois on last second shots, and one of them was against Iowa a couple of years That's ago. That's right. And right at that basket. The same basket they'll be shooting for tonight. If I'm not mistaken, the score was just about the same, too. Let's go back in my book and check here. Well, much of the crowd on its feet. Judson's bucket made it 77-76, Illinois, back there in 1977-78 season. Well, this first game important to both teams, getting off on the right foot for the Big Ten season. And both teams want to be contenders. Iowa had a share of the Big Ten championship last year, and of course, undefeated coming into this one. And Illinois trying to put together two good halves of the season, coming in 10 and 2. Of course, last year they won their first 15 games before the roof came in. And they went 4 and 11 for the last 15. Now we're set to go. Illinois will inbound. And under its own basket. And Kevin Bontemps is going to come in, Dan. Can't stand. Not a little bit surprised at that move. Bon Bontemps in for Perry Range. Bontemps will inbound. Bontemps, Judson, Johnson, Bresnahan, and Smith for the Illini. For the final six seconds, this place is up for grabs. The crowd on its feet. Here we go. Tight zone. Here's Jetson. Puts up the shot. It doesn't drop. He has it. Bonkett puts it up. No good. And that's the ball game. Delano gets two shots. And Iowa wins it 72 71. And the Iowa Hawkeyes have come away with a victory. Rob Jetson did not have. Good open shot. He almost forced the ball up there. The ball bounced right back in the hands of Kevin Bontemps, who also popped it up there. It was long. And that was the ball game. Boy, what Final a way to six lose seconds. The Illini missed two shots, two chances, and Iowa wins it 72 to 71. We'll take a look at the scoring and recap tonight's game in just a few moments. 